Hi guys, welcome back. Tonight I am going to be making Jamaican curry chicken. So come on. So I have my chicken here that's cut up. It's cut up really small. I have already washed it with vinegar and water. So I'm ready to put the seasoning in. So I'm going to put a little bit of garlic. I am going to put some basil leaves. I am going to put some Jamaican seasoning salt. I am going to put some real Jamaican curry powder. I got another Jamaican original Caribbean chicken seasoning. I have some jerk seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit of this. Now guys, I'm going to mix this all up. I'm going to wash my hands for a second and then I'm going to put some more curry powder on that. I'm going to heat up my pot over here and add some olive oil to it. I think I'm going to put a little bit more curry powder. I have another curry powder I am going to use. I'm going to put a little bit of this 
other curry powder that I have. So right now I'm just waiting for this pan to heat up so I can add my olive oil. I got this chicken from Publix and I just had them cut it up for me in small pieces. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pot. Just spreading the olive oil here and now I'm gonna just put this all in the pot turn it up a little Get a bigger spoon. I'm going to put a little bit more curry powder, just a little bit more. I'm going to leave that there for a minute or so. Let me show you guys my other ingredients. I'm going to use some thyme. One potato. Some garlic. Carrots, onion, and scallion.
So I'm not adding any water to this yet. So guys, this is something you would eat with white rice or rice and peas. So in another video, I'm going to show you guys how I make my rice and peas. But that's what you would eat curry chicken with white rice, plain white rice or rice and peas. So. So guys, you definitely don't want to add water at first. You just let it cook before you add any water to it. For some reason I feel like I can still use a little bit more curry on it. So once again I'm just going to add a little bit more curry. And then I'm going to cover it again. So once that cooked down a little bit more, I will add a little bit of water to it.
Okay guys, I'm ready to add a little bit of water. And I'm going to make this cook for about 45 minutes. And then I will come back when I am ready to add in my scallion and onion and thyme and garlic. So there we are guys, I will see you guys in 45 minutes, bye. Hello guys, so my curry chicken has been cooking. I went ahead and I added my potatoes, I added my carrots, I added the onion the scallion, some garlic, and a piece of thyme. So it is almost ready guys. It is almost ready. Almost done. In the next two to three minutes, I will be turning it off and it will be done. So this is the rice. This is some rice and peas I made earlier. Like I said, I'm going to make a video to show you guys how I make the rice and peas. So stay tuned for that video. Let me tell you guys a little bit about myself while I wait for this to finish. So I was born in the lovely Nassau, Bahamas. Both of my parents are from Jamaica. My mom is from St. Catherine in Spanish Town, Jamaica. And my dad is from Lower Boxing, St. Anne's in Jamaica. So they both left migrated to the Bahamas, met each other, fell in love, and had five girls. I'm the eldest of the five girls. Can you guys imagine a house full of, with five girls? Can you imagine the torture my parents probably had to go through raising all five of us? Well, that's a little bit about my history. And let me take a look at this, see what's going on here. Okay guys, so this is ready. So this is good and ready guys. So there you have it. That's my curry chicken. I like to have a lot of gravy in there. So this is good and ready to eat. So guys, keep watching my channel. I will be making more food, uh, making more videos. So just keep watching. Until next time, take care and bye. Yeah!